Hello. Today we're doing something a little different. Uh, we are doing the last of the I Love You posts uh, since February is coming to an end. And by the time Thursday runs around, it'll be March. Uh, today we're going to talk about things that I love being technology and how technology can help as a writer. Uh, firstly, we can discuss uh, the webcam right here. It's right there. Can you see it? Um, I don't use it much. You probably won't ever see me use it after today because um, I do not like the way that I look on webcam. I don't think you guys really want to look at me for a long time either. But there are several writers that I know, um, both indie and traditionally published authors, that use webcams either to do their own weekly vlogs, like John Green and his brother Hank. Uh, yeah, you know, it is. Uh, there's also Jackson Pierce, who does a lot of live um, videos where she'll talk and you can chat on the side and she'll answer questions and stuff, which is pretty cool. And yeah, she's fun. So I like to watch her. Um, also, using the uh, webcam will allow you to hopefully learn to use editing software too, because you'll see that by the time I'm done with this, it'll chop and splice and get into uh, cut out all these ums and ahs and blank spots, which you wouldn't know about unless I told you. So, uh, Next piece of technology that we're going to talk about, the phone. And you say, how can the phone help me as a writer? Well, there are a couple of different ways. Um, this is my pretty phone and my little Dalek charm. <laughs> he lights up and spins around when I get a call. Um, he has nothing to do with writing, but I think he's cool. And I've become a recent Whovian, uh, so I wanted to show him off. Anyway, so... My phone is pretty basic. Um, it is not one of those crazy, I cook your bread and butter it at the same time kind of smartphone. Oh look, he's light up. Um, but it does have a couple of things. It's got Twitter, which I'm on right now, and oops, that was Yahoo. Twitter. Oh, look, I'm getting a call, and I have to answer it, so I'll be back. Okay, sorry about that. I had to take a call. So anyway, we were talking about how um, phones, you know, they have like Twitter and stuff on them. So you can use that to keep, you know, to repost your things if you're not at home or to uh, reply to people. Whatever. Not a necessity, but it's it's nice and handy. One of the things I really like that most phones have is um, a record feature, like a voice recorder. So if I'm somewhere, you know, even just driving in the car or whatever, although preferably stop at a light before you do this or pull over. Um, if you have a brainstorm, you can use the recorder on your phone to record your ideas, and then when you get to a place where you're able to type it up or write it down, you can just play it back. So, really pretty handy. Um, yeah. Next. Okay. Next, we have something that all indie writers should love, is the digital e-reader. This is my Kindle, and I love my Kindle, and um, without it, people could not read my books. I mean, yes, there's a print version, but um, more people are going to are gonna pay for the uh, digital. So, in case you don't have one by now, you know, this is what they look like. This is uh, not my novel. This is uh, Coexist. I think it's called. It's the second book in a series, and it's uh, pretty good. But one of the great things about Kindle, at least, I'm not sure about Nook or, or Kobo or Sony e-reader. I figure most of them are probably going to have this option. Maybe not Kobo. I don't know much about it. Um, is you can do some editing. You see my little, uh, my little cursor leaping at the top there? If I push down and then over... So it's highlighting stuff about Keegan. Um, you could pick it up and then at the bottom you could type in a little note. Cool. Cool. 
Um, and then you would save it and you can upload it to your computer later. Um, if I was editing my own work, it would not say cool. It would say, um, remove adverb or add comma or you spelled this wrong, stupid. Um, it's handy. I do like it. I will admit it's kind of a pain in the ass to edit this way. So I don't normally do it. But if I'm sitting getting work done on my car or something and I want to, you know, move forward and I don't want to lug my whole laptop, it's a nice option to have and uh, could really come in handy. Another thing, another piece of technology is the amount of word processing programs that are available. Uh, I am a straight up Microsoft Office Word kind of user. I've also tried um, YWriter and Scrivener, and I like them both, I do, but um, I'm a big fan of Word for one major reason. The editing factor of how you can comment and add things in where it, um, it crosses off. If you make a change, it puts like a red line or a blue line, whatever color you pick, and then you have your new text. Um, so you can go back and see if you want to change things instead of just cutting and deleting. Um, what if you want to go back and you decide, oh, you know, I can make that, that paragraph work. You have something to go back to and you can see where it was. The other great thing is the fact that so many people use Word, I can send the whole document to my lovely writing partner and she can check it up with her little red mouse clicks or blue or or whatever color she wants, and add her little comments, and then when she sends it back, I can accept or decline what she wrote instead of erasing and retyping or whatever. It's super, super helpful. And, um, you know, if I was printing out pages and sending them to her, it would cost money, and then who knows if her handwriting is legible. I'm sure it is, Patty, but I don't know that for a fact. Uh, so this is a, a good way to go about it, and I think you should definitely take a look into different kinds of word processing programs. I know Scrivener, for one, was still in beta for Windows when I tried to use it, but it had some really neat aspects of, like, summary cards that went up on a little, uh, what am I, what word am I, for people? Uh, corkboard. It had like a little big cork board and uh, each chapter had a summary and then you could move it around if you decided, you know, this chapter would be better here or there. Not something I normally do because I'm not a plotter, uh, but I could see it being really useful for other people. So definitely look and see what's out there and what works best for you. A lot of them are free. A lot of them are reasonably priced. So don't be afraid to try some out and see what works best for your style of writing. I'm going to show you what I mean about um, how you can comment and mark things up on Word. You can see here how she highlighted a whole paragraph, which was a description about a specific character. And then she commented about how I didn't give as much of a description about another character and that maybe I was playing favorites, which I might have been, but I won't admit. And then here she marks that um, she thinks that that specific part can go because I talked about it already in a previous paragraph. Okay, that's enough. You can't read too much of it. Sorry, still in the wild throes of editing, so I, you know, I don't want you to see how bad it is beforehand. But we're gonna move on. Okay, another piece of technology that's important for me, anyway, is my camera. Now, um, I'm a very average photographer, uh, amateur, even I. My stuff isn't good. I get a good shot now and then, uh, but I really do enjoy it, and I think it lends a lot to my writing. Especially, I especially love macro photography, which is where you 
take pictures way up close. And, uh, uh oh, change my batteries. Can't take a picture of you guys. But when you take things way up close, you really get to see all of the little pieces, and fibers, or whatever that you wouldn't normally see unless you were really looking for it. And I think that that is a major help when it comes to description, uh, because I can see that there's different changes in color and texture, and I think it's good if I really see a place that I think is beautiful, or I see a beautiful sunset or sunrise, I can I have a picture I can go back and look at to help me describe it. And uh, I think if you don't take pictures and you're a writer, it might be something that you want to try, even if they're just, you know, cell phone pictures. I think if you go back and look at them, they're really inspirational and they can really really help your writing. So there are a lot of other things that I could talk about. Um, we know all about social work networking and how it can, um, how it, you can use it for promoting your, your book and making your fan base. And we've discussed all that before. Uh, there's also video editing, which you'll see a lot of cuts. We talked about that a little. Um, but you can also use that for book trailers. I admit that if you're going to do it yourself, it's probably going to come off a little, a little cheesy in the beginning. I mean, mine, mine is pretty cheesy. It gets the point across, but, you know, it's definitely not professional. Uh, unfortunately, I just don't, I don't have the kind of money to pay people to do that kind of thing yet, maybe sometime in the future. But I'm not really sure how book trailers um work into you know book sales i don't know if they really make a big difference something that i'll have to look into later on i think um but it could be good it's it's good for you especially if you're an indie author to know what goes into the making of things whether it's uh playing with photoshop and making mock covers of your book or using you know video editing software to see what goes into the making of a trailer because when you do come to pay people for that at least you have an idea of how difficult it is how much time goes into it and you know i understand the stuff's expensive but you'll see all that goes into it and maybe why they're charging as much as they're charging so as you have your technology your books and your phone and your kindle and your camera you should embrace it and love it and uh you know pen and paper is good but technology is the future and you should use what you have and find out that it could really make a big difference in your writing and you know at some point you have to get with the times and especially now that things are going digital as far as books you really can't stay to just pen and paper anymore so look into it, learn how to use them, and love it. Love your technology.